Captain Nethpar has turned herself into authorities at Deep Space Nine. She is the Zinkethi officer who delivered vital military intelligence to the Alliance prior to the assault on Bajor. Captain Parr is now actively seeking asylum and claims to have more tactical information for us. I want you to debrief the Captain and determine the nature of this new information, if possible. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. The Chief told me to expect you. The Zen Kethi officer is in the far room at the back. A Starfleet captain is speaking to her. Good to see you again. Tensions are running pretty high where the Zen Kethi are concerned, but Captain Parr has gone through a lot to help the Alliance. She deserves a fair shake. We keep meeting under less than ideal conditions. The Chief of Security thought it was a prudent measure. Technically, I am under protected custody until the Alliance decides what to do with me. I cannot fault this decision. Our military has much to answer for, myself included. There are many who might see a Zenkethi face and decide to seek vengeance. Thank you. Far too many lives have been lost in this crusade, so I'm glad the tactical data I provided helped to save some. No longer. I renounce the title of captain after committing mutiny. Part of the price I paid to save those lives today. Let's move on. I have more information for the Alliance. I presume you are here to collect it. Are you ready to hear my story? It began on my first mission as captain. I remember it clearly. Captain's log, mission cycle 132. We have arrived at system 91, local designation EOC. Admiral Zen Tarak prepares to conduct Fransuni cleansing operations. Our tactical reports indicate minimal threat from the locals. This should be another egg run. 
Captain Parr. We are receiving an incoming transmission from Admiral Zemtarak. Let's not keep the Admiral waiting, Ensign. Put him on screen. The planet Eok. Scans show it to be filthy with the eggs of the hatred Transuli. Their defenses are generally inferior, but their fleet could be dangerous in large numbers. While our ground squad prepares the weapon, we will ensure that no ship leaves this system. If one ship with one egg escapes, the contagion spreads. That is not acceptable. I know this is your first mission as Captain Neff. Don't let your excitement distract you from the task at hand. Stay alert! Of course, Admiral. We're prepared to enforce containment protocol as ordered, sir. See to it that you do, Captain. Zentara, out. The Yoki fleet on intercept course. Eliminate them! Ships are free. Destroy them. As you wish, Admiral. Par out. Sir, I will not forget today's events for a long time, if ever. took a toll upon me and my crew. 
To eradicate the Dranzuli was one thing. The eradication of innocent Ioki was another. Despite my personal feelings, I remained a loyal officer. Things would change under Cronus III. I led the Protomatter Bomb Squad myself. Draconis III is a primitive, pre-industrial, backwater planet. There is a large infestation. You know what to do, Captain. And Neff, keep your guard up down there. We think the target site is a temple. If that's so, the local savages may try to stop you. Feel free to discourage them. Aggressively, if necessary. Our firepower should discourage them, Admiral. They shouldn't pose much of a threat to the mission. We're good to go here. The weapons in the green. proto Matrix is stable and primed. The Admiral wants us to deploy the bomb in the largest concentration of Dranzuli eggs. Looks like that's in some type of structure ahead, not far from here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. All right, let's move out. Keep an eye out for the locals, and make sure the weapon is protected. No more lucky shots like Vernon and Four, okay? The Admiral roared at me for a ten cycle over that. Fifty credits says Tashan drops the bomb. Okay. Oh, I'll take that. I'm standing right here, you know. This pillar points down the road to that primitive structure. Large concentration of Transuli eggs ahead. Does it matter where we put it? The whole planet gets scoured. Ask the Admiral. I'm sure he'd just love to tell you. You know, after giving you a year of latrine duty. Both of you, shut it. We got a job to do here. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, Lieutenant. Just stay disciplined. Remember what happened on Hitaril.
worshipping the eggs? Are these fools gathering Dranzuli eggs? They wouldn't want these eggs to hatch if they knew what was inside them. in it. <laughs> Mammals all look the same to me. You know, they probably say the same about us, right? I don't look anything like you. I'm actually good looking. Status report, Captain. Have you breached the structure yet? Yes, sir. We found something interesting as well. Transmitting data now. Starfleet. Interesting. Your scans indicate that image is centuries old. More Federation time travel nonsense, perhaps. Proceed with your mission, Captain. We don't have time for archaeology. Zuli's signatures are most concentrated here. This looks like a prime detonation site, Captain. We'll get the weapon placed and ready to go. This won't take long. Who's on Overwatch while we deploy the bomb? That'll be me. Get the weapon ready. I'll make sure you aren't interrupted. Is that the door closing? Hey! We're still in here! Captain! Now! Squad reporting. Need to stabilize the proto matrix here.
The bomb's ready, but we're stuck in here. Transporters can't lock on. Sir, but my men are still trapped in the structure. Transporters can't lock onto their signals. Unfortunate, but we don't have time to extract them. We've received a priority assignment from the Autark himself. We must depart at once. Prepare for transport. Sir, give us a little more time. Beam an engineering team down. We can break into the structure with explosives. I left those men to die. And for what? So the Admiral could reach his next genocide on time. It was madness. So there were no evacuation plans? No rescue efforts? None. The Autarch's orders were quite clear on those matters. And the Admiral was all too willing to execute those orders. When we reached the Atosi system, it had become clear. Our crusade was not a just one. Atosi Prime, long distance scans suggested the presence of Dratsuli infestation, but we'll need to be certain. Standard operating procedure, Captain. Begin by conducting a scan of the planet. Yes, sir. Let's hope this was a false alarm. Counselor Hale Atunum. I speak for the Atosi people. We know of you, Zenkethi, and your purpose here. If you scan our planet, you'll discover that it is free of the bioform objects you seek to destroy. A scan of our moon will reveal the presence of those objects in totality. When we heard the fate of other worlds like ours, we collected the objects and placed them there for you. Scour the moon as you will. It is devoid of life. Atosi Prime, however, is not. Over four billion souls dwell here. In their name, I ask you now. Spare our world. Spare our lives. Captain, confirm the Counselor's story. Scan both planet and moon. Verify the location of the Transoriates. Signs of infestation, Captain. Shall we scan the moon next? Yes. Helm, set a course for the Atosi moon. Captain, I'm reading a large concentration of Transuli eggs on the Atosi moon. Very well. Prepare the torpedo launcher. As you can see, we have been truthful. Certain there is no remaining infestation within this system. 
As you wish, Admiral. Atosi, we're being truthful here. There's no sign of Jansuli infestation on our sensors. It could be residual traces left behind when they move the eggs. Or it could be shielded pockets of infestation. Another crude attempt to deceive us. We must be certain, Captain. Prepare to scour Atosi Prime. Sir, with all due respect, Atosi Prime is not a threat to us. There's no need for this. There is every need, Captain. Since you appear to be incapable of following my orders, I will deal with Atosi Prime myself. Tactical, prepare to fire a protomatter torpedo at Atosi Prime. Admiral, no. Don't do this, sir. No. We're not a threat. We're not... I could stomach no more after that. I could no longer walk upon that path of madness. My crew felt the same. Together, we began to walk a new path. It is done. In light of your service to the Autarch and the Coalition, I will not have you shot for treason. If it were anyone else, be warned. The next time you see fit to walk the path of disobedience, I will not stay my hand. I'll see to it that your entire lineage is purged from existence to the last scale and egg. Do I make myself clear, Captain? Yes, you do, sir. Helm, get us out of here. Admiral Zen Tarak has a lot to answer for. We can only hope the Zenkethi Crusade has come to an end at last and that nothing like this ever happens again. That path, that choice, led me to where we are now. Walking it ultimately gave me the strength to stand against the Admiral and defect to the Alliance. I think we can both agree that journey has reached its end. From this point forward, I begin to walk along the path of atonement. That journey will never end for me, but I will help as many as I can with every step I take. Thank you. I hope your superiors have the same opinion as well. As long as the Autarch lives, he will continue to pursue his insane crusade. I believe I can be of use to the Alliance when the time comes to stop him, once and for all. I shall abide by their decision, until our paths merge once more.
This Captain Parr has endured much and still stands tall. Us and Kathy with honor. Impressive. If only the Zenkethi ruler knew of honor. It's clear he is dedicated to wiping out every last threat to the Zenkethi by any means necessary. Madness. I see that Alliance officials will be reviewing Captain Parr's request for asylum soon. The help she's given us and your report will certainly influence their decision in her favor. Serve the Empire well. 